What do you think the Bears are going to do for their draft pick? Huh? Who should the Bears pick for a quarterback this year? Should they trade up, trade down, sit pat, be patient? What do you think? Pace his job on the line. What do you think they should do? Huh? So, guys, I don't know about you, but I am literally, as a Bears fan, counting down the seconds and minutes of this draft. And I don't really know why, because I feel like I'm probably setting myself up for disappointment as a Bears fan. So, my big thing is I keep thinking is, what are the Bears going to do with this pick? It's such a big pick, and I just keep going back and forth on what I want to do or what they should do. And honestly, I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, obviously, I want that franchise quarterback that the Bears have never had, in my lifetime at least. And so, yeah, does the idea of trading up to number four for Justin Fields or Trey Lance or whoever, or controversial take Mac Jones, does that sound good? Yeah, if they obviously work out. I mean, if you, if a quarterback turns to a franchise guy, you don't care how much it costs in the end. It's priceless. You know, it's invaluable. Because that's what you have to have to stay relevant in the league. But at the same time, it's just, I just, I worry that I look back through old drafts and it's trading the farm for a guy like a huge trade up for one guy. It just seems like more often than not, it does not work out. And especially we're talking about if it doesn't work out in general for other teams, it's like we're talking about the Bears doing it for a quarterback. It's like it's like a double whammy to me. So, I don't know. That's my one spin on trading up. It's like, yes, I would love the idea of having a Justin Fields, a Trey Lance, Mac Jones. I, I don't hate it, but maybe not at four. But trading up that far, ah, and so that's where I'm just starting to honestly lean into where, like, maybe the Bears just need to be patient, stay at 20, not pick them necessarily, but just let the draft kind of come to them. I mean, I yeah. say they're sitting at 20 and somebody does fall to, you know, pick, or somebody falls between 10 and 15 or maybe 8 to 10th even if you want to be a little more aggressive. Then, hey, you know what? Trade up. That's that's more of a modest trade up. You know what I mean? That's aggressive, but still being patient in my mind. You know, like, kind of like what the Chiefs did with Mahomes. Even though it was 17 spots, it was still to number 10 and not to number 4 from, tw you know, the 20s. So, I kind of find that I just feel like the Bears just need to kind of let the draft kind of come to them. Like, they should have done with Trubisky, right? He would have been there at 3 at least. So, then at least people couldn't make mock him for trading up for him at least, even though he wasn't that great to begin with. They even traded up for him unnecessarily, most people believe. So, I kind of lean towards, yeah, just stay at 20 for now. Let's see how the draft board plays out. And I think there's rumors that this is what they're probably going to do. I don't necessarily believe they're going to go to 4. I know there's whispers of it, depending on who you believe, but... I just don't want to, I don't think, will I deal with it and will I like it if they do it? Yeah, because if they're being aggressive for a guy that hopefully that we, you know, we like, but they also need to probably have confidence in who the Niners are going to pick, right? Because say the Bears only like two of the three, or maybe they like all three and they don't care who the Niners take and they're comfortable trading the farm for any of the, you know, Mac, Lance, or Fields. Again, Mac Jones is controversial in that way. But, so, I don't know, we'll see. I, I think, though, that I would, if it was me... I would stay put at 20 for now. See how it plays out. Be patient, Ryan Pace. Don't play yourself. <laughs> this is a, this is literally your watershed moment for your career. This draft is probably going to make or break your career as a GM, especially in Chicago, if not in general. So, yeah, I think they should probably be patient. I want Lance or Fields. I kind of lean slightly more towards Lance just because I like, you know, I think Dalton can at least hold it down for a while while Lance develops. But I'll take, I like Fields or Jones as well, but it's a big draft, guys, and I'm literally checking mocks, checking all rumors on, you name it, on Twitter, all the sources or sources, if you will. I'm checking it constantly, just like I'm sure a lot of you guys are too if you're a Bears fan and, or just an NFL fan in general for your team. It's going to be a crazy draft. The draft starts at 3. I think the Niners are being secretive unnecessarily, but I think it's almost more so as a nod to the NFL. I think the NFL probably wants the Niners to keep it kind of hushed because they know one and two are set pretty much. So if the Niners come out and let it leak who they're going to have take, then it's like, well, geez, there's no point even tuning into the first three picks now. So 
I almost think the Niners are kind of giving doing the NFL a favor or TVs in favor, TV stations and, and ratings and whatnot. So to try to maybe at least have some intrigue starting at number three, because then I think if Atlanta passes or if Niners take Mac Jones or whatever, it's going to be start to be a derby. I think of teams trying to move up between number four and number ten. And like I said, we'll see. Are the Bears going to those teams? Maybe. If not. So in final, I guess the third part of it would be just to kind of wrap this up in like a three-segmented kind of way. Sorry if it's frantic or, you know, jumpy, but stay at 20, pick the best available. May very well not be a quarterback. I highly doubt it would be, whether it's an offensive tackle, a receiver, maybe even an edge rusher, because it seems like those guys are going to slide down the board this year, but there's some decent ones in there. Or corner, replace Kyle Fuller. Pick best available at 20, maybe even trade back uh, to maybe the end of the first round. And then you trade maybe back into the very end of the first, or you stay, ob- or you know, early second on day two, and you pick a Kellen Mond, a Davis Mills, a uh, Kyle Trask. I hope not. I'm not. I mean, I think he's more of a round three kind of prospect to me. Um, and that's been a lot of talk too. Is maybe the Bears should pull a, a, a Lamar Jackson, if you will, like with the Ravens, in and trade right back into number thirty-two. Um, so they pick at twenty, for example. And then maybe trade that second round pick, pick 52, plus obviously it's going to take more to get back into like pick 32 with the Buccaneers, for example. You know, and then you take Kellen Mond or Davis Mills, whichever. But one of those fringe day two, day one, late day one guys, you see it a lot, right? One of those guys, it seems like if you go by history of drafts as quarterbacks, one of those guys, probably Mills or Mond, is going to sneak in possibly to the very end of day one. And... I don't hate the idea of the Bears, especially if they can, say, trade back from 20, maybe get a late first-round pick still, and get another second-round pick. Honestly, that's probably what a lot of better teams do, and that's probably the mindset a lot of better teams have. But again, Pace is more of a trade-up guy, not a trade-down guy. So history would tell us, and history tends to repeat itself, that Pace is much more likely probably to trade up. I just hope he doesn't trade up so much to where he's forcing things. Because like I said before... Trading the farm just does not seem like it usually goes well. And we're all talking about trading the farm. The Bears trading the farm for a quarterback. And they, they can't find a quarterback to save their lives anyways. So uh, it just seems really risky. But like I said, I mean, if Pace has his conviction plus collaboration right now, right? The double C's, if you will, now. I don't know, man. Maybe they're going to do it. And like I said, I'll ride with whatever they do because what choice do we have as fans, you know? And I do think there's more fans. It seems like the fan base is much more behind the idea of uh, drafting Lance or Fields this year, whereas Trubisky obviously wasn't very well received. He was literally booed at the Bulls game, if you remember, um, which he didn't deserve. It wasn't his fault. But um, I think the the climate for drafting uh, a quarterback, one of these two quarter, or you know, Lam- I mean Jones, I'll take, but I don't want to trade up for him. But if they trade up, either whether it's a moderate or an extreme trade up for Lance or Fields, I think the fan base in general, at least, is going to be much more into it, and that in itself probably will buy Pace and Nagy some some insurance or some some time, if you will, some goodwill with the Chicago Bears fan base. Um, yeah, there's going to be people that don't like it because they're more conservative with the draft picks and draft capital. You know, you always have that, but it does seem like from the climate I see on Twitter, if you're going to use Twitter as a test for that uh, or a pool to, for that, it does seem like the fan base in general, would majority would be happy again, using Twitter. So that's not conclusive, obviously, but and myself included, you know, I would be happy in the end if they trade up number four, because I'd be excited still to have that promising rookie once again to, it's hope, right? That's the number one word that comes to my mind when we draft a young quarterback is hope. So, and that's all we got in the end as Bears fans. I think all of you know that now, no matter how young or old you are, is all we have is hope. And in today's NFL, most of the hope is going to reside in your quarterback. And we haven't had very good quarterback play, and that's why we felt hopeless most of our lives. So, anyways, guys, that's my thoughts. Let's do a real quick video. I haven't posted in a while. I went to Florida for a couple weeks and just kind of been off. So I'm doing family and work and stuff like that. So hopefully you like this video. I'll try to do something a little different style-wise this time, a little more casual, a little more just around and about, just kind of giving my thoughts. So please, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.